Hello, I'm Dr. Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author. But in this short little video, I will not be uh, making puzzles. I will be solving them because Laura's found me something she thought I might try to solve it, haven't you? Mm -hmm. I found this at a little Christmas market in the Lake District and decided that it would be fun to challenge Gareth to do it. On I, camera. On camera, just to put the pressure on him. I had a go. Uh, we're solving it with we some other people. Told what it is yet, it's this. Yeah, we haven't. Um, but I didn't actually solve this, so we're just going to wait and see if Gareth can do it. But the idea is that there are four wooden pieces and they should conspire to make the shape of that T that you've just seen on the front of the bag um, and it should be really really easy right Gareth because you would think we do puzzles for a living <laughs> I'm, I'm actually pretty poor at physical puzzles but you would think that assembling these four look that's even got a slot in it you just think that assembling these four things into this T shape would be straightforward right you would wouldn't you and I presume it is so let's find out I'm not going to give him any help whatsoever smashed it <laughs> all right so logically this has to be the base of the tea it's the only bit you'd think maybe this is why oh no this could be the base of the tea mm, what fun maybe that goes across the top if that went across the top is that there's, i don't feel that there's any way that's the, the equivalent height i don't feel there's any way that this can be the top bit because if it was i don't think we can complete the complete the stem I should say that I do know the solution, so I'm just watching Gareth solve this and see how close he gets. <laughs> oh, you think I'm not going to do it? No, I think you are going to do it, but oh. I don't know how long it's going to take. <laughs> that almost sounds like an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit. Um, so I think that can't be the top bit, because I don't think... Th I think wherever the shaft needs... If, if it's just these two pieces left over, I suppose that could go there as well. I don't think we're going to manage that, because although that's close, it obviously is significantly incorrect. Yeah, that's... So I'm guessing this is part of the stem. But maybe, and maybe, it could even be like that. No, it can't be. It must be like this, I feel. But then how on earth would these bits intersect with it? And what is this cut-out here bit here doing? What does that fit with? Um, could it be the top of the stem? Could it be that it goes like this, and that the stem, top of the T goes across here like that? Well, I'm really glad to see that he hasn't instantly solved it because I didn't instantly solve it either. You would think, honestly, four pieces. I know. And some of them weird shapes. I How know. hard can it be? So this went in the middle at the top. How would I connect down to the bottom? That must be, maybe that has to be the shaft and that has to go across the top somehow. Maybe this connects in like that. I'm having a great time watching this. Like that. <laughs> well, look, I've invented the new puzzle. Hooray! That's beautiful. Go to L. There we go. Complete. Okay. Is that right? <laughs> no. no. Okay. <laughs> that would be lovely, but no. So that, they go together so beautifully there. I can't unsee the answer now. How about a little stylized tea? Uh, well, it depends, Gareth, whether you want to solve it correctly or whether you want to. <laughs> I'm about to give up on it's this. Fun, I've got to be it? honest. No, I think this is an awful. <laughs> I don't like this sort of puzzle. Oh, no. Anyway, we can speed this up. No, no, I think we should enjoy my misery. Uh, yeah, no. Well, they go together, right? I'm no. I'll tell you. They can't. They can't go together. They feel they go together. <laughs> you, know, you can see the little hole where the guy put, the, put his drill bit in before he cut the cross. He's handmade this puzzle, right? He got it from some little artisan somewhere. I think so, yeah. Um, I actually never thought about whether the grain of the wood is a help ooh, for this. Oh, thank you. I don't think so. I think it's it depends been cut. whether it's, they've all been cut from different pieces or not. That feels like that would be too much of a giveaway. The grain of the wood is actually not coming across that well on camera right now, but it does exist. There we go. Um, what fun! <laughs> Is there a solution to this? Oh, I thought you always had it then. Oh, <laughs> did I? <laughs> no, but you can't remember what. I can't remember what, what I was doing. What configuration they were in? It wasn't that. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's so frustrating. If it's any consolation to you, I was doing it for about half an hour before someone else got the answer, so I didn't solve this either. Still no. Solved. No, no. You know in your heart that that's not right. I know. Just more than my, just my, <laughs> just my heart, Lord. I'm going to be honest. Um, oh, you said I was close, but I have no idea what I did. Mm. I had them at some weird angle. Well, how could that possibly be correct? Oh, maybe there's some sneaky coming across the middle type thing.
This must be very, very frustrating to watch. <laughs> is, do you think it's more frustrating to watch or more frustrating to do? Yeah, I mean, it's probably to do because you can just skip ahead on YouTube, right? That's true. There we are again. Is that right? No. <laughs> You'll know it when you've got it. Oh, I'm sure I will. See. I'm sure I recognise that hit that cryptic shape of T. <laughs> That's quite fun. It's not correct, but it is fun. <laughs> oh my golly! If that's yeah, a... G whiz. It's a toughie. G not a whiz. <laughs> He was trying it for half an hour. Oh, maybe more than that. And it wasn't just me trying to solve it on my own. This makes me feel better. Yeah, oh goodness. How hard? And I didn't it, solve it. Could it possibly be? That's lovely. Whatever it is. It's a, it's a sock, sock puppet pig. Where did you get pig from in that? That's its snout. Oh, right. And it's it's two ear. ears. Right, yeah. gotcha. Um, that was my bad, not recognising that. I, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's start by anchoring a piece in position. Say that goes at the top. It can't go that way. It can't go that way. Maybe this bit actually goes at some weird angle, but if so, I think it would have to be two block heights. No, that seems to be unlikely it goes at an angle. If it goes like this, I've got two surfaces here and I can't fulfill them both. If it goes like this, it's got two surfaces here and I can't fulfill them both. So it has to go vertically or at an angle. If it goes at this angle, I don't see how I'm going to complete a a T at the top. If it goes like this, maybe that's the top of the T and this is the side of the T. Oh. Hooray! I should have thought about it logically to start with. <laughs> all you have to do... We got there. All you have to do, and so I, I, I started to think about it logically at the beginning, then I thought, well, how hard can it be? And I'll just give it a bash. I'll just throw some shapes, so to speak, Yeah, but then I finally realised this can't go horizontally because there's no way of completing both ends. It can't go vertically because there's no way of completing both ends. It must go diagonally. I'm glad you thought about it logically because when I was doing it, I literally just threw the shapes around just to see what would happen. And what I should have realised is that this angle here, which I thought was so perfectly fitted to this, and like obviously it's designed beautifully so that that does fit like that. Mm. It's, it's very clever. Mm. Um, I should have realised that could be a corner of the T, but I didn't. Well, anyway, it's a really nice puzzle, actually. I enjoyed that. It is lovely. Well, thank you for getting that from me. You're welcome. Um, Merry Christmas, even though that was several months ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you go. It's just a little extra video. Yeah. Um, if you enjoyed that, comment, like, subscribe, please. Somewhere there's, there's a button by here somewhere, I think. Uh, and otherwise, we shall see you in the next video. Yes, we will. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye.